does is float until she I can make a little mini rubber band powered star from airplane. I have other videos in my channel and this time it's gonna be a fairly different one. It's gonna be a mini version and it's gonna I'm gonna try to make it look a bit realistic. So let's give it a try. I'm thinking of using star foam, but you can see that it's pretty thick and if I try to make the whole model with this kind of uh, thickness of star foam, it's gonna be a bit heavy, but um, I'm thinking that if I kind of use my exacto knife, kind of like chop it like in the halfway, then it's gonna be a perfect size. This is just a rough example, but you can see that this th the thickness is perfect and I'm thinking of making these templates. So then you'll get some really thin pieces and that's going to be perfect for our model. And you can see that these, um, these are the two pieces which are going to be the fuselage. Like they're going to be the, um, the length and I'm going to have two other strips which are going to be the top and the base. Of course I'm going to do sh some shaping but just to clarify that it's 23 centimeters long and the uh, width is 3 centimeters but you can make it even smaller. So I've decided to stick it with this measurements because it's a mini model. So just to show you guys how I make the shape, I'm just going to make a little mark and then just I'm going to eyeball it and make a little little curve just to show the uh, top of the plane. And also in the base, it's just going to be a little curve. Something like that. So now you want to use your exacto knife or a scissor and then just want to chop it off following the uh, the line and also for the bottom using this as a reference you want to take your second piece you want to repeat the same thing that's gonna be the left side so we just trace it on also the back repeat what you just did before by cutting it following the crease. So here you have your basic two shapes ready. So if you guys have any rough edges, you can always use your sandpaper to kind of sand and make it much neater. Just like so. Now I have another strip of a 23 centimeters by 3 centimeters, the same as the two lengths of the fuselage. Now you want to take your hot glue gun and you want to use very less amount of glue on the edge of one side of it. And then you want to use your strip and stick it on. And also you want to have the little curve at the back. For the hot glue to dry you want to have you just want to hold it for about a few seconds. Just like that, you want to also repeat it on the other side. Make sure to use sufficient glue so that the two star foams stick well. And gently place it on. Now I will move on to the propeller assembly. For my model's propeller, I'm thinking of having a little jumbo popsicle stick but if you have these kind of regular size popsicle sticks, these are okay as well. But the thing is that the width is pretty larger, so I'm thinking of having this one. Of course, I'm not going to be using the whole length. So I'm thinking of using only 10 centimeters of the whole popsicle stick. So just going to mark 10. And also going to mark the middle. So at 5, I'm going to have a little dot. As you guys can see. That's going to be my model. Using a pair of scissors, you want to chop off the excess. And on this very dot, it's a bit tilted to the uh, bottom, but that's okay. But you know where the midsection is. So you don't use your exacto knife and kind of make a hole in the very center. You could use a driller, but the thing is that my driller is not working right now. So I'm going to stick with having the hole with my exacto knife. So guys, I've used a scissor to kind of um, curve the edges so that it looks much neater and looks more like a propeller. Now to make it the shape of the propeller, I'm going to be using this candle and put the candle on top of the midsection of the propeller and simultaneously I'm going to twist it so that the shape remains. You don't want to keep it too long, otherwise the popsicle stick might burn. 
So you can see that I'm also putting pressure. And that's how the twist happens. And that's how the shape will stay. Now you want to use a little aluminum wire. And you want to use your supplier to bend the end of it into a 90 degree shape like that. You want to pass this aluminum wire through the propeller. And at this end, you want to bend it towards the opposite direction. And again, use your supplier to tighten it. And that's how it's going to be fixed. Just so that it's a bit more secured, you want to use your hot glue and glue it around the aluminum wire. And use a chunk of glue onto this angle. And you want to use a bead to pass it through the aluminum wire and stick it onto the popsicle stick. Now you want to take another small little popsicle stick and again you want to use your exacto knife to make a little hole in the center once again. Now you want to take your propeller, you want to have another bead and pass it through the aluminum wire and you want to take your little popsicle stick and also pass the aluminum wire through the little popsicle stick. And you want to take your model and then you want to use some hot glue onto the popsicle stick on both the ends and stick that popsicle stick to your plane just like that. Now you want to use your supplier to make a little hook onto the aluminum wire. So just hold it and then twist it around it and then press on it and there you have the hook. Now what you want to do, you want to grab your hot glue gun and you want to stick the second bead onto the popsicle stick. Not to the propeller, to the popsicle stick. And also from the other side, use enough hot glue so that it sticks well. Now you want to use your exacto knife and make a little slot like that. And you want to use a little piece of a popsicle stick. You could also use a barbecue skewer. Now you want to pass the bar, uh, the stick through the hole. And now you want to grab some pieces of rubber bands. I have um, two layers of two, so I have a total of four. Now you want to hook the rubber band to your uh, plane. There it is, it's hooked. Now from the other side, you want to use your popsicle stick to kind of catch the rubber bands, as you can see, like so. And there, just like that. Just so that it's a bit more secured, you want to use your um, scissor to chop off the excess. And now from both the ends, you want to use hot glue so that it sticks well, so that it doesn't move around. Let this dry. So now if I try to wind the popsicle stick, you can see that it spins so smoothly and a lot of wind gets generated. Now you want to use your fourth piece. This is also 20, uh, 23 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Now you want to stick it onto the roof of the plane. So just use your hot glue and use that piece to stick it on. Now you want to use your sandpaper to sand it so that you get a neat edge. Now I will be making the wings. So this is a measurement of 4 by 24 and these two little pieces are 5 by 4. So these are going to be um, sitting like this kind of angle. So I'm going to be using my sandpaper to kind of sand the wing in this kind of a diagonal way. like that so that you can kind of have the perfect sitting. I want to also do that to the other side of the wing. 
like that. Now I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun to stick these two pieces to the wing. Just to ensure that it's more secured, I'm gonna be using my hot glue to make sure it's much better and it's more stronger. So now your wing is done. So you wanna take your fuselage or the body of the plane, use some glue on to the above the midsection and then stick the wing onto the plane. Now we're gonna be making the tail. So for the tail, I have this little piece and this little piece. This measures about 11 by four. So what you're gonna do, you wanna use your hot glue again and use some hot glue onto the end and stick the tail on. And I have this little piece I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to make a little curve. That's going to be the fin. So I'm going to be using some hot glue. And then I'm going to stick it onto the tail. From either angle, make sure that it's pretty straight. So that it's sticking well. And also from the bottom angle, you want to use some so that it's more secured. Now there's a little hole, so I'm going to be using this little piece of a styrofoam to kind of cover the hole. So your homemade rubber band powered styrofoam airplane is ready. So guys, you can see that this wing is tilting because the styrofoam, um, it's very light and therefore it's tilting because of the weight from the hot glue. So I've taken these two little triangular pieces of styrofoam and I'm thinking if I could kind of place it like that, it's going to be very stable. So I'm, I'm going to be using my hot glue, stick on the triangular piece and then stick on to the fuselage and the wing and making sure that I'm really pushing it forward. Now by doing so, you can see that it's very much stabled. It's not gonna wiggle around as it flies and that's gonna be very helpful when it flies. So guys, there you have it, your homemade mini rubber band powered airplane. Let's go ahead and try it. So here you can see I've winded the rubber band and it's pretty tight and nice. Although I feel it's gonna fly well, I'm thinking the wind's gonna be blocked because of these two supporters supporting the wing. But anyway, we'll give it a test flight. So here you guys can see I've taken out the foam supporters which were blocking the wind from the propeller. And uh, you can see I've added barbecue sticks instead now the air can pass through. I've added a real light coin just to add some weight. You could also use some Play-Doh for weight if you don't really have a light coin. So let's give it a try. So that was such an improvement. The plane maintained equilibrium as it flew because of the nose weight in front. And um, also with the gaps in between, the air was able to travel pretty easily without any block. So let's have some more flights. So this is how I can wrap up my video. This was not a perfect success, a medium success, but if you guys really want to see the successful flights I've had before, be sure to check the description box. I'll leave the other links and you guys be sure to check those out till the end to see the flights. 
So be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to get the latest DIY news and videos. You guys take care. I'll catch you guys next time.